And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Karma Elmux, the return of this deck. Played this about eight days ago, had success with it. It was a lot of fun to play. Let's try it out again. Basically, we are kind of a, a mid rangey maybe more control deck, you know, that has Karma for our top end. And of course, we all know like how good Karma is. End of the round, create a random spell in hands. You get a bunch of random spells, all that kind of stuff. And our other top end card is Anivia, another really good uh, late game card that cares about us being enlightened. Um, and so it can start attacking, doing multiple damage and all that kind of stuff. But of course, we need to get to the late game for Karma and Anivia. And so as you can see, we don't really have too big of a top end so that we're not, you know, so we don't just have a ton of expensive stuff because we want to be able to interact early. So we have a lot of a lot of Freljord cards that we're trying to use to control the battlefield. We have a sweeper with Avalanche. We have the the high rolls of Troop of Elnux and Bull Elnux that can put a bunch of creatures into play. And then we have some kind of control the elements with these Frostbite cards. Um, also Rimfang Wolf that we can use as removal with the Frostbite um, cards. And we got some card advantage with Shadow Assassin. Um, protection with Twin Disciplines, Counter Magic, um, pretty cool. And then we even have like a combo with Dawn and Dusk. You know, like we can go Dawn and Dusk on Anivia in the late game, and that's just amazing. Because you know, like if we have like a transformed Anivia, it's attacked us two to all enemies. Well, if we Dawn and Dusk it, and so then we get two copies of the ally also. So then we have three Anivias in play and attack just a six to everything. That is. Lots of damage. So that's what that's what we got going on. Even just using Dawn and Dusk on like a Shadow Assassin, kind of earlier on, could give us a, a couple of blockers to help stay alive and draw two cards. So it can work there too. All right, so this is Karma Elnux. I did add in a second Dawn and Dusk since the last time we played it. We played we had a Rhine Tusk Shaman in last time, and I wasn't super impressed with the Shaman with everything else that we like with the rest of the deck so we're gonna kind of switch it up put in another one of those all right we're starting today at rank 533 it looks like and we're gonna play some some different decks today not like the most powerful decks but some some fun decks good variety today and then tomorrow is our rank up sunday stream so i'm gonna play four very good decks tomorrow we're gonna try to rank up as far as we can a rank up Sunday. Um, I know I, was, I had planned like the Demacia mid range, um, Ephemeral mid range. Those are two decks I had planned for tomorrow. Let's see. Let's go with. Denies leaving. I think. I think I'll just keep the rest. Oh, I guess we'll keep them all. That could be a good one. You know, uh, it kills you know Zed Lucian. They have two toughness. Avalanche does two damage. Push back the darkness. Burn away the shadows. Darn. <clears throat> they didn't fall for it. Tried passing, they play a creature, then I avalanche. I am the blade in the darkness. There we go. That was a good avalanche. That worked out. The order rewards its faithful. I will play my part. You can't do that. I just did. Um. Where there is life, there is hope. I'm just going to play the Karma and start getting some extra spells. Oh, 
All right. I only... It wasn't good, but it wasn't the worst. Sturdy blades, custom made. Pretty good. That card was traded with my Brittle Steel and my Shadow Assassin. So we can we can put we can do this to Karma and then get a lot of extra cards. Um, doing it on Troop of Elnux doesn't doesn't do anything. You only get the Troop of Elnux trigger whenever you play a Troop of Elnux, not whenever it is um, summoned. So ten mana. So one two. Let's see. Three six seven. Probably gonna just, just be using the harsh winds. I think that's what I'm gonna do here. Try to harsh winds and have Rhyme Fang Wolf with that. So we know they have two four Demacias in hand. Not really expecting any other like a one mana instant in these colors. Like they could have like Radiant Strike. But I'm not really expecting that. Okay. That's going to be a lot of spells here in a little bit. Hmm. 
let's see how this works. Purify. Okay. We'll take that trade. They're down to three. Today we turn the tide of war. Virtue guides me. <laughs> is that Poro snacks? My spirit is an unpunchable fire. Wait, what's this? What's this card? Poro snacks. So grant Poro Poro allies everywhere plus one plus one. Does that does that work for the opponent also? Because it does say everywhere. So does that mean like the opponent has like the opponents? Poros. Hmm. Oh, it says allies? Okay. Oh, yeah. Poro allies. Okay. Yeah. Hey, say more. Basically, this would give me four random spells, which would fill up my hand. So that's okay. We just, we need to cast something else. Hmm. I need to cast something so we get to draw. I guess I'll, I'll just cast this thing. Because it's super cute. Yeah, karma is so much value. We're about to have a whole bunch of karmas, too. We dawn and dusk the karma. I feel like Dawn and Dusk and Karma would be pretty crazy. Um, no, you can't target new spells. With Karma, you have to cast it again on you have to cast everything again on the same targets. If only we had a burn spell to go alongside with this. All right, so they're stopping one of the dawn and dusks. So we'll get the other. Do not question our results. Sweet. All right, first win for Karma Elnux. Get that XP. Ooh, we got a chest. Looks like a golden chest. Tis. All right, got a couple of our commons got upgraded to common wild cards, but they're all extra copies. So a bunch of shards and some wild cards.
Shards and wild cards. Can't go wrong with shards and wild cards. Oh, that's some hype there, Forks. GG's, Blade. GG's. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all good. All right, playing some spooky spiders. We want... I want avalanche. Whoa. We got triple troop. No, and then we draw an Elnuk. Oh, this is like the worst Elnuk hand I've ever had. Yeah, I play a lot of expeditions. I, you know, I did like my weekly amount of those. I did put money into the game also to. Um, Reporting in. I did put some money into the game also to get the champions faster. You know, being a content producer, wanted to have more of them. This is why I wanted. This is why I wanted Avalanche. And we mulliganed everything because none of them were Avalanche. Finally. I will play my part. The people are my strength. A little rough, a little rough. You can get, you can buy three champions a week. You can buy three champion wild cards a week. With money. Where's my axe? Yeah, you can also buy them with shards. Yep. No, you choose which ones to buy. Yeah, you 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 just buy wild cards. Like you can buy three wild cards a week, and then you can use the wild cards on whatever you want. There's no there's no randomness when getting the cards with this, basically, except for like which champion with the expedition. Um. That was a really bad mulligan that we had. Really bad mulligan. I guess I should have just kept like my two drops. You know, I had two of the two mana three ones with frostbite. I guess I should have just kept them because you know could have played them and traded and stuff. It was a really poor mulligan. The four cards that we got from the mulligan, we didn't even cast the entire game. Oh, Ezreal.
yeah, the games are so close in the expeditions. They are tough. You know, you're right. They're they're really tough. Um, I feel like people have gotten better at them. Like whenever I played them like a month ago, they were a little easier. Yeah, like that could be wrong too, though. Um, but yeah, you know, like, even if you get four or five wins, like you said, that's still better than, like, that's pretty good. And that's better than, um, you know, just using your shards on buying a champion. You know, you get more, you get more shards back. So we're we're definitely relying on Troop of Elnux. Which isn't a great place to rely on. Considering we have all three in hand. We're not gonna be able to get any off drawing them. My life forever yeah, sure another Elnuk. <laughs> so only two other Elnuks in the entire deck. Hey, Lincoln. Yeah, everything's good. Um, so no, no lies. Now I've been playing Legends of Runeterra instead. But yeah, Lincoln, I changed names. Because, you know, my previous name had the MTG in it. I didn't want to have any specific game in my username. Okay. Got just a bunch of average mid-range creatures. It's going to take a while to cast in hand. Five mana three threes and four mana four fives. I thought you'd never ask. Uh, that really hurts. One shot, all skill. Can't stop me. Ezra will make some free mystic shots for him. Charge. Arrows at the ready. 
was probably thinking I probably should have just played uh, these things pre-combat. At least one of these things pre-combat. Yeah, like I should have just done that pre-combat. And then just attacked. That could have been an extra 7 power. They would have... You know, they would have done something. Right, so they're just bouncing that. Still, I could have maybe gotten extra 3 damage in. Uh, she's sleeping right behind me. They're both... Both the dogs are in their little beds behind me. I don't miss. One shot, all skill. Hmm. So now the question will be play Bull Elnuk or go straight to combat. I'm going to play the Bull. Hey, WQ. I expect them to be using spells. For the most part for interaction not really creatures and so because of that they can just play like they they don't have ruination you know they're not playing any these colors don't really have sweepers Um, Shadow Isles is the big, the big region with the sweeper, you know, like, they're the one with Ruination. Uh, Frel, you know, they also have Withering Whale. Freljord has Avalanche. Sweet. They needed a bunch of Flash of Brilliances at that point. The Flash of Brilliance basically costs zero mana. They needed it, to, um, you know, basically cost zero mana and, uh, you know, would do two damage to me because of the Ezreal. That was close. That was close. All right, two and one. Hecarim Elise. I wonder what they're using Ionia for. Because it's not Zed. Basically, all that stuff's pretty expensive. I could see, out of all that... I could have seen keeping the karma. And we got karma here now. Yeah, 
Yeah, when the when the vaults max, you get you get three diamond chests. That's it. I pull the string. When the vault is max. And you get you get an expedition token. You really want to get to level ten. Um, at least get at least get to level ten. I should have attacked for three. Because at level ten on you get an expedition token. You really want like that's that's the main prize. But then um, yeah, you get to level thirteen. You get three diamond chests. Uh, in a diamond chest, um, you usually get like a good amount of commons and and then a few rares and like maybe an epic and you know can get upgraded. I've, I have gotten a champion in one before. I will play my part. If you go to like if you're on Legends of Runeterra, if you go to the reward section. Um, and then just scroll somewhere. Usually, I think Diamond Chest is like the very last thing in the rewards. If you scroll over to it, it'll tell you a little bit better what's all in it. So yeah, it's a, it's a really good reward every single week, definitely. Really helps fill out the collection and it has a lot of shards in it too like it usually has between somewhere in like the five seven five to seven hundred shard range also and you know getting three of them means you know you get usually get like a close to two thousand shards just in those and you know it's three thousand shards for a champion or for an expedition so you get like one in two thirds uh expedition if you just get like you know 1000 shards throughout the week with just your other like no more rewards from playing and getting there then it's basically like you know you basically get two x Two free expeditions every single week. Or even if you just get that many shards from your first expedition that you play for rewards. No, that's that's you get one token each week just from from the vault when you reach ten. You don't get there's not like another a separate one that you get for rewards. That's the one you can get each week is if you get to level 10 volt. Whoremother's call. gonna take a little oh man if i get to dawn and dusk like a karma and then wa warm others call it that would be so crazy yeah you need you need to get the max number of wins to get to get your entry fee paid for with the expedition um, it costs 3,000 shards. You get 3,000 shards if um, if you get seven wins. You can only... Your first three expeditions each week are what cost an entry fee and you get prizes for. After, after you play three expeditions in a week, then the rest that you play for the week are just free to play. You still get all the experience from them, but there are no prizes, but they're also free to play, so you can practice 
a lot. We don't have any good lines. I kind of need one more mana to like uh, to block with Karma. I don't want to block with Karma and they use Mark of the Isles um, and pump pump that up and then kill my Karma. Is it ten mana right now? Hey Maximus, doing good. So they pass with that eleven mana up. I don't know if that this is worth playing this Catalyst of Aeons or if I should have just passed as well. I honestly don't know. The thing is, this, this does let me be enlightened this next turn. See, now they're going to just start playing everything. Probably should I probably should have just passed and not let them spend all that mana. I don't know. Like we're gonna be enlightened and we're gonna have two extra mana. So I can play War Mother's Call and Karma will flip, so we'll be able to cast it again. So we'll have double War Mother's Call. Um that does require us. You know, that would be really nice if they let us play something before combat, if they just go straight to combat. It's a little rough. They, of course, went straight to combat. Force of will. 
I don't know. So this is 10 damage. I'm taking 5. Or I'm going down to 5. All right, double war mother's call. We get two units now, and then at the start of each round, we get two more units. That's what I'm going to be relying on. We don't have that many units in our, you know, in our deck, so it's like we're going to run out after a little bit. Uh, one of them gets denied. The dark beckons. Yeah, it's it's probably fine. Dang, we're gonna have lethal the next turn. Probably. With like with that flyer. If we attack like we could have Dawn and Dusk and get a whole lot of karmas and then twin disciplines and give it plus three a whole bunch of times. I don't know if that would have worked, but could have been cool. Dang. Avalanche is just like a complete board wipe now. Definitely expect them to have like rekindlers in hand. I'm kind of trying to hit my three, my three Anivias. Haven't done a very good job of hitting those. We don't don't really need to worry about harrowing because we got the denies. What's the pony? You say the pony is OP? What's a pony? Yeah, I mean, at this point in the game, life gain would be good to have. Life gain cards don't usually necessarily help you just get to this part of the game, but like we're, we're like in full control with a lot of cards, and so yeah, it would be nice to have life gain, but we should be fine. We don't have any direct damage. Well, Avalanche would kill two weakest enemies, so it'd kill this and this. Avalanche kill all my stuff because it'd, it'd be caught it'd be cast like three times it gets copied with all these karma so it'd just kill everything um 
I could twin disciplines and then avalanche. Do six damage to everything. I could also deny this. Yeah, I, I just drew the avalanche just, like this turn, I think. I don't know. You know, I just drew it. I can get rid of all those. Because now this should be lethal. I have two denies. <laughs> so I, they have three cards. I don't, yeah, like two denies and three cards. All right, good job, Karma. Getting us that War Mother's Call, that was pretty sweet. And doubling up War Mother's Call, so even though they had to deny for one, we still got the other. That was pretty important. Opinion of Barrier 1 turn kill Fiora. I don't feel like the deck is that good. Um, I'm usually happy like whenever I get paired against the Barrier Fiora deck. I think that the Ionia cards that, they, that people play in that deck are the reason why it's not that good. I don't think that, like, the one mana card that grows when you get Barrier and, like, the Shen and stuff like that, I don't think those cards are very good. I think just playing more Demacia, I think just playing, like, Demacia midrange that has Fiora in it is a better deck than focusing on trying to just always kill people with Fiora and, and doing, like, the one-turn kill stuff. I must get out of here! Um, yeah, control wins games, but it's not, that's not, that's not all. Um, no, 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 no. Aggro and mid-range are pretty strong. I, I think they are all pretty well balanced, honestly. You can win with, with any aggro, mid-range, or control. I think they're all pretty well balanced. And we're going to be getting an, a balance patch very soon. Um, should be announcing what it's going to look like on Monday and then come into effect on Tuesday. You like Shen with Brightsteel formation? Eh. I must get out of here. Brightsteel just costs so much mana. It's like... If you need a 9-mana card to make your 4-mana champion good, that's a bad sign. That's a that's not a good sign. We got 
shadow is. All right, we got Ezreal out of here. Let me... No surprise, I'll take that though. I thought it was gonna be Vile Feast, honestly. So Black Spear is not as bad. No, get the one one. There is life, there is hope. Could absolutely be another black spear. There's a lot of things that kill karma. It's just my best play of you know next ma next turn with six mana playing two shadow assassins. Um, and then you know we can go with like a Nivius and so on after that. I don't think it's worth it to play scared. I don't have that much to protect. Karma in the deck. We have some twin disciplines, but we don't have that much. I'll take it. Definitely considered passing and seeing if they would play something and then playing Karma. But the risk of them not playing anything is kind of great. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day! Shadow Assassin vs. Chumpwump. New dual deck. Lady Elise, where are you? So they only have four cars besides all these puff caps. I got nine over here. If I do cast Harsh Winds, I only have four mana left. I can basically just let all these things die with like by like avalanching. Like, those are my two options here. I either go for the Harsh Winds line or the Avalanche line. I think I just go for Avalanche line. Because then if I go Avalanche line, then I can play Karma afterwards. But priorities back onto them first.
All right, gonna try for the Dawn and Dusk Anivia combo. Would like to draw, like a deny, or something to protect Anivia. They have a full grip. Six cards, four mushrooms. Makes no sense not to block the 4 1. Alright, I guess. I guess if you want to do that. Yeah, it, it is based, Chloe. really like this new game okay <laughs> help you get some decks together yeah yeah i mean i have uh if if you haven't checked it out i have like there's the page with all of my legends of runeterra decks um and of course everything's on the youtube channel also if you know if you see any decks that you like you know you can search for them on the youtube channel if you want to to see them in action all right. And then we have the backup Anivia. We're two mana short. This would be perfect to Dawn and Dusk right now where they can't kill this Anivia. It would, would have been perfect. A new era begins! I bring the storm! We're just gonna go straight to combat. Um, basically, I just want the Dawn and Dusk to resolve. You know, like, if I if I target my Anivia with the Dawn and Dusk and they kill the Anivia in response, basically, like, with Vengeance, like we saw then it you know it won't resolve and that's the problem so we need to get this to resolve because it's okay to have ephemeral anivias because they die and they turn into the egg nivias and then, then they'll come back as normal ones uh not uh not right now maximus i'm not really not really planning to right now I moved to, to this this game that I kind of feel is a, a better game, um, but yeah, I hope I hope you check out this one, Maximus. If you're used to playing arena, I know it's not real easy getting into a new game. That's easier said than done, but they make it as as easy as you can here with Runeterra. And yeah, that's, I wrote that Google document a couple weeks ago of why I recommend Runeterra instead of MTG.
Hope you check it out. Cool, cool. Yeah, it's it's free to play, um, and you can really build. You can build the entire collection for free, also, which is not something like magic. Like you, you honestly do not need to invest. So they're just doing one damage to this, targeting it. I assume for Ezreal purposes. That's going to be how my opponent's going to win is with Ezreal. If they if they have Ezreal, get to flip Ezreal and then just cast a bunch of spells. That's how they're going to win. How I'm going to win is them not having Ezreal. We've we killed one Ezreal a lot earlier. Unclear how many they have in the deck. Well, that's that's bad. Uh, obviously. So all I have are just all these frostbite cards. I don't, don't actually do anything. They did talk about it in their latest state of the state of the beta that they're not, you know, like Ezreal is something they have like their eye on, like these Ezreal um, frostbite decks is something they definitely have their eye on as like something they don't love from a play pattern standpoint. That's really rough. A chill in the air. Yeah, currently I have most of spiders. Okay, yeah. Spy yeah, playing the spiders is definitely something that's that's a good place to start. That's something that's competitive that um that yeah is a is a good place to start while they're building the collection. So my only hope is that they can't kill me, which all they need is one other spell to kill me. Because we know about the, the three puff caps, all they need is one other spell in these five. So I can't imagine that we don't die. That'll do it. My hand did not end up being very good. We drew every single one of our frostbite cards in a matchup where frostbite did not matter whatsoever. I played the spiders yesterday, um, went six and four in master's rank. So, you know, like it's, it's competitive for sure. So that's a good one to, to put together while you build the rest of the collection. Ash Elise. It's 
possible I want like that flash freeze rhyme tang rhyme tang wolf honestly Yeah, you're right there. For Rosa says you already get two Elise and two Darius when you set the accounts. It's a no-brainer. Yep, it's best place to start. Winter, take you. And it's pretty strong, also. Come you know, it's not like it's. I don't bite. Dang, that is so uh, perfect. A turn two, three, four Elise. That the Omen Hawk hit, so it has to be like the very top card. Then you have to draw it on turn two. Wow, yeah, like that's that's just perfect. I've never seen that before. Um, if it's a fight they want, I'm gonna block here, and I'm gonna hope I draw Avalanche. Yeah, Avalanche would be real good to draw. We didn't really draw Avalanche. Will no one listen? I will play my part. Still haven't drawn Avalanche. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Hmm. Options Dawn and Dusk, Shadow Assassin. Draw two, get a couple chump blockers. Troop of Elnuk. Yeah, I think that's my best option. We get Troop of Elnuk and try to, you know, hit a few, you know, hit some Elnuk. I think that's my best option. That didn't help. It's too late for you. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. No avalanche still. I wish I could play the Anivia and just attack and clean up these. Looks like we would have rolled pretty good if I would have played the Troop of Elnux before. Let me change into something more comfortable. Show me a target.
So yeah, I don't, don't have to deny, like, their, their spells are basically going to be burst speed anyway. Uh, I kind of want to do the plus three here. No, we don't really need to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to let this happen. Yeah, next, yeah, next turn we could have a Nivea deny. That's not bad. Basically, I need, I'm most worried about Ash now. And I'm not sure how I stop Ash. Because, like, Ash levels up. That's a huge problem. Like, obviously, if, if Ash levels up, we're, we're basically done. Just need a frostbite twice. Endless cold. Wow, they just let their ash die. Wow. That was a great turn for us. They probably I mean they probably have another ash because of the babbling bjerg. This thing is just an O2 right now. Yeah, that was pretty strange. All the world on one arrow. True Felyorian, welcome. I think we're actually doing fine. If if we can resolve Dawn and Dusk next turn. Amorosa, guide me. Yeah, I took an extra point of damage. I should have frostbitten the 4 4 first. Do I want to shuffle an Anivia back in or not? I think the answer is yes. Now we have Dawn and Dusk. Dawn and Dusk and Nivea combo. With Deny backup. So we attack, do six to them and all their stuff. doing okay now killing that anivia that other turn or that ash that other turn was huge
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they get out of this. They just pass? I'll just pass back. The Freljord's eternal guardian! Nope. I think we got this. Karma Elnux. The Elnux were really important, and so was the Anivia, not the Karma. But GG's. Yeah, that was a good one there, Rio. GG's. This deck's pretty sweet, and you know, it's a little different. But it's really good. Yeah, Ezreal is a problem for sure. Um, I think we we're one and one against Ezreal, but like we beat Ezreal before, but yeah, some healing would be nice. Sometimes you get lucky with Karma hitting you and heal a heal spell. Our loss was to super aggro, our other loss was to super aggro whenever I had a really bad mulligan. And. Do I want to keep that harsh winds? Or that rhyme thing, wolf? I mean, this isn't actually a Shadow Assassin matchup. We had a really bad mat, uh, mulligan and got ran over. Oh, I don't know what to do. Could be better. Lady Elise, where are you? At least it's not Elise. You cannot escape. Pretty well. I that went pretty well. There's Avalanche. I will play my part. Definitely may just play Dawn and Dust to draw two. You know, basically just turn this into six mana draw two. I'm gonna see what they do first. They're just passing.
Uh, Vile Feast kills this thing. This is a bad idea. They obviously have Vile Feast, and they do. That was a bad idea. Now that's lethal. That was just a really bad idea. Glad they didn't play that pre-combat. Yeah, that was that was just really dumb of me. Had everything to punish me. They did have the vile feast, and then the mist rate to grow, and now Hecarim. I can stay alive, but to what end? Hecarim has been problematic. Don't have a real answer to Hecarim. Yeah, I could have Will of Ionia, I guess, would be like the... Yeah, I guess that could be something to have. Alone, you see things as they truly are. Tread lightly, strike hard. We drew lots of denies. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. It's not ideal. This game's not looking so good for us. We'll bring peace to Iona, whatever the cost. If I didn't have a backup karma, I wouldn't be throwing it down. But we do have the backup. Ionia speaks through me. We must make our own path.
I want to use the quick attack. If possible. Don't have good options. Just have a whole bunch of denies. I don't do anything if my opponent's not playing spells into them. Gonna try to kill the monk. Uh. All right, monk down. This game still looks like it's gonna be good gonna go poorly for us they got yeah they got one more card you name it I'll nick it seven mana I want to L Nux but then I don't have protection for karma or they could kill karma I would like them to play something for me to deny. I'd like to use my mana with a deny. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Ah, too many cards. They don't get that Shadow Assassin. Hey, Jolly, about a month ago. Changed my stream name to not have any specific game in the title. Master. Be a generic stream name. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. I, uh, rawr. there is life there is hope so Ezreal's a little ways away from flipping it's 
never get to use these denies. They get the extra cards with karma. and virtue make a true swordsman. Oh, I could have denied that. A true Fanyorian will Should have denied that. Face your fate. We must make our own path. Protect the villages. Should have denied that. I always feel like I play worse when my opponent takes a real long time to decide what to do. Right here. Take time to care for others. Okay, our 3D, I'm, I'm right here. So my plan is by force of will. My plan is to double up the twin disciplines, give plus six plus zero to like whatever they don't block. And I'm just hoping this is good enough. Cause I don't I don't have turns left because the Ezreal. And karma, like I, I am. There we go. That was my chance of winning. All right, five and three. Yeah, I did. I did. Here, three D. Yeah, this this game, Legends of Runeterra, that came out about seven weeks ago now. Um is really really nice it's a lot of fun to play i recommend it, trying it out if if you haven't you know really looked at it or anything i wrote a few weeks ago why i like it more than magic the gathering uh so check it out and yeah if you if you know if you're a card player you like arena and everything this could be uh the game for you no i i really don't I've, i haven't played mtg since i started playing legends of runeterra just been playing this game Five and three. I feel like we kind of stole that one. That one was not going well. So, Shadow Isles, Freljord, Anivia, Trindamir. Do I want the second karma? Maybe I just want the second karma also. I mean, we definitely want karma. I'll shuffle it back for now. We're going to keep karma and deny. 
I really want to draw Shadow Assassin to, to be able to play on turn three, to have something on turn three that also draws a card. I guess I'm playing this thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, right there with you, Josh. Josh says, I'm a lifelong Magic player to start Rune Terror. I think the turn system is so much more dynamic than other CCGs. And Leaping into action. Exactly. I love the turn system here, how it's not I have a turn, then you have a turn. It's it's turn one, we're both doing stuff. It's turn two, we're both doing stuff. It's it's awesome. I think it's, it's pretty brilliant. Unfortunately, that's burst speed. We don't get to deny that. I would love to have denied that. Out of all the the things that you know, people have kind of come up with with magic of like how to make. Um, how to make it more fair for the person on the draw kind of thing i've never you know never even considered what if what if it's just turn one and both players have a turn you know it's, it's both players get to do stuff <laughs> What's up with the tie every day? This is just how I I like to present myself. I like to I like you know I'm comfortable wearing a tie and I just like to look professional like this and so it's just they cannot hide. So that's it, it's just what I want to do basically. Save the host. Thanks, thanks, Carity. Thank you. Ionia speaks through me. That's not a card I want. The avalanche. Stand together. I'll protect the villages. I probably should block with Karma to turn it to try to turn it into three toughness for brittle steel. I just don't really want to risk karma, of course. No. No. <laughs> go Nux. Ooh. Pack mentality to go along with Elduck. Harsh Winds is a pretty good draw. I should have brought blocked with Karma the first time, but I'll go and try blocking with Karma this time. We can 
Yep. Now I wish I would have just blocked with something else. Hey, Ralph Oki. <clears throat> Alright, well... Shouldn't have blocked with... Ezreal, but... My hand's pretty bad. Avalanche, Brittle Steel, Harsh Winds, Dawn and Dust. This is not a good hand. Play my part. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Okay. Karma's good. It's possible I could steal this with the Shadow Assassin. Possible. Depends on like how much life gain they're gonna have. comes only at the price of war. My life for Avarosa. I need. No, I'm fine. I'll never yield. Save the homestead. Oh, I did just have an Elnuk die. What am I doing? I don't want an Elnuk to die. All right, so I either can go for the giving, you know, plus three, plus three twice to this Shadow Assassin, then it's eight power and just kill them in the air. Or I could put it on these, on like the two Elnux, and it would be 10 and nine Trample. So 19 total Trample. They would have like 14 to block. Um, it's more safe putting it on the four or five. I would also have Twin Disciplines as another spell. To back it up. Oh. 
I'm gonna go this route. It's safer. It's harder for them to have like a, a, a removal spell for this. Like they basically need vengeance. Come on. Well, now that could be it. Many past lives in a single fold. Now, talk about four horrible spells. So I could still go for the win with the Twin Disciplines. They cannot hide. We know they have another spell that they're considering casting. I shouldn't even block this Trindamir that last turn. I should have just, just Frostbit it like I did and then kept it so that I could have Brittle Steeled it. Like that was, that was a problem. I just think that they, they have another removal spell. I mean, they just, they almost played a spell there and then decided not to. I think they would kill this. Oh, Atrocity? Um... Yeah, they got me. Oof. That's the thing, like, still, all of these... Yeah, that's the thing about Legends of Runeterra. You know, all nine of these games, it's not like none of them... Like, none of them have been, like, bad games. Like, they've all been you know, interesting and and of a lot of decisions that really decide who is going to win. It's a good mulligan against an aggressive looking deck. I wouldn't mind drawing Avalanche. Still wouldn't mind drawing Avalanche. I basically just had them waste all that mana. Like, they they didn't play anything because they were expecting me to do stuff, and then they were going to uh, maybe play something post-combat. Uh, but that's, you know, like, that's a something you can do in this game, is you can just say, all right, you're passing to me to go to combat? Well, I'll just pass the turn. It's not like fighting any of these things are that important, you know, using these precious spells to try to fight those things. Get some Elnux out here. Help us out. The dark beckons. Think you're fast? Cute. 
bulls and wolves. I'm not planning on casting any of this frostbite stuff before combat. All right, we'll do it there. Let's use a flash freeze to use use more mana. Good trades. He's got four creatures out of there. No. So, uh, I wouldn't mind playing Troop of Elnox. Yeah, Heimerdinger is the person with all the turrets. Yep. Yeah, Heimerdinger is awesome. Very powerful. Oh, no, no, no. I meant to challenge... Uh, you play too fast, click too fast there. Obviously, I, I meant to challenger the zero power in front of the wolf. Whoops. Yep, that's a punt right there. Is 
they would have like done their twin disciplines first, and then I would have been able to harsh winds. Never play fair. Do not fear the shrouded path. When a flash fleet or flash freeze Katarina, so Katarina doesn't strike. Yeah, whenever Katarina strikes, just goes back in hand. So, you know, it has like the quick attack. So it goes back before even before we would die in combat. Before the defender would have a chance to strike back. Okay. Down to three. Oh wait, that thing kills me. Man, I've messed up that game. I messed up that game, that's for sure. All right, five and five. So another, you know, 500 record. This game's tough, this game's tough. You make a little mistake like that and it's, it's gonna cost you. Yeah, so that was, you know, definitely one of my losses was my one of my mistakes. That's that's not anything that's uh, new. A lot of a lot of my losses, you know, I could th you know have the mistake that, um, you know, that you can think of, right there. So that's too bad. Uh, we had we had that loss. We had another loss against um, a hyper aggro deck where we just had a horrible mulligan. But really, I, I had the tools to win that game, most definitely, and I didn't. So that's, you know, you just blame, you know, no no place to blame except for myself for that loss. That's going to happen, though. You know, like, ten games in a row, you know, just didn't have, didn't have my A game there. All right, but there we go. That's Karma Elnux. Definitely felt like a, a good a good deck still um and you know it's unique if you like a, a nice good unique deck this is one that i would definitely recommend all right so those of y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and please leave some comments i would appreciate it if you do both of those um but that but thank you so much for watching some karma elnox and i'll see you for the next video